Hey guys, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 as we're playing as Sweden. Um, as usual, still stuck underneath Denmark, but uh, what can we do? <laughs> Not a lot, really. Denmark's pretty strong. He's got 20,000 men, plus obviously Norway joining on the fight. So, uh, yeah. I'm basically just trying to earn some money just now. Request for military access. Yes, Scotland. Of course we can have military access. Ah, we can build this here. Aha, so that's our last one. There we are. Now it's just constables everywhere. Um, Put one there. Didn't really want to waste money on 0 0.6 areas. Not so much money, sorry. Um, Admin. Tech. Uh, let's just boost this up to speed 5 again. Tonic orders have accepted peace from Poland. Oh, that was the war that we were in. Forgot all about that. And is there anyone else with uh, decent trade power in my node? Uh, Riga, whoever Riga are. Not, not really. Not really decent trade power. Although they are taking a gold from me. Hmm. Ah, eh, whatever. It's not that bad. How much are we actually making right now? Making nine gold. That guy's no longer loyal to me. What a dick. What are gonna do? Fuck off. Um oh, new tech. New military tech. Are we ahead of time? No we are not. Awesome. Uh we could do with a another advisor. Hey, national tax modifier. Good job. And production efficiency, no. Global trade power, that'll increase the trade power by 10%. Um, I don't know, okay, let's check. So trade's at 4.5 right now. If we grab this global trade power guy, what do we get? Still earning a lot of money. 4.5, 4.79. Alright, okay, so it gives like 0.3. Eh, it's not that bad. At least we've got a full full rack of advisors now. Ah, we've got superior unit types as well. Um, let's go for the longbow. More offense. And yeah, we'll keep the Latin Knights. Ah, so we're slowly but surely gaining money again. Um, he's probably a heretic. Yeah, let's gain reform desire. I don't give a fuck. Don't look like I care. About your petty religion, of which I am the Curia Controller. <laughs> we own two Cardinals. Reform desires going up. Constantly. We can build provincial improvements and national decisions are available. I'll pass the Liquor Act! Yay! Get more tax! <laughs> Love it! Um, that's basically through... Oh, for Christ's sakes, quit it! Sweden is the Cura Controller. Be nice if we could vote in that guy. It's like, yeah, we want, uh, we want this guy in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he seems like the best, best fit. Um, I'll, I'll sit and try and gather some. Because it'd be nice to get farm estates and product the production efficiency plus 10 is going to be really strong. So let's see, what would we have here? Um, economic ideas, does that increase production efficiency? That's the build cost one. Uh, we've gained a conquest, Casas Belly against Muscovy and lost it against Novgorod because Muscovy just took it over. Which is beautiful. Thank you Muscovy, congratulations you pricks. Or is it Diplo that gets... No. What one is it? Administration? Production efficiency? No. Ah, production efficiency is economic ideas. Um, They're pretty good. They're decent for getting money. <clears throat> I picked them up on my Scotland playthrough. Uh, just waiting as Denmark gets fucking stronger, the pricks. Looks like they've annexed Holstein. Ah, quit it! He's mine! <clears throat> God damn it! So, 
so little for us to do right now. It's just uh, improve relations here with the old uh, the old poppy. Mm, Muscovy are happy with us now. Let's uh, let's embargo Riga and um, send an insult to the Livonian Order. And let's set them. Ah, oh, no, there's a point. If they fight us, we'll set them as a rival. They want to attack us. Any missions? Oh, I still want the Pope to like us. Christ. What an issue. I guess we can invest a card, and we'll be able to do that just now. We don't want him getting voted in without us actually getting anything off of him. Um, I want the production efficiency, don't I? I can't remember what I'm doing now. The uh, technology. Yes, I want I want to save my money. I want to save my admin tech just now. So I can get the production efficiency. Christ, stop it! Burgundy. I'm having so many issues right now. Gain mercantilism or national trade income modifier and lose mercantilism. I'll gain one. Um, I think that's good. Yeah, it gives us extra provincial trade power. Hmm, no idea. So let's invest in this card now. This is up to 100. Denmark declared war on the Livonian Order. Alright, so what I want to see is if I nip around here, I can't actually get there. Can I get military access from you? Thank you very much, Muscovy, you're too kind. Okay, and if I basically just march around here to Nevada, um. And siege that. Do you think maybe, maybe we'll get it? I think maybe Denmark will be nice enough to give us it. There we go. Um, let's let's actually declare you as a rival. Yes, you're my rival. Oh, apparently we won that naval battle. That was nice. Thank God. So I can really say. Oh, nice. A two two three. That's pretty good. Want that down to speed four. Just march in on them. There we go. Hey, if you want to come up here and fight, then you're more than welcome to. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go and bash him. There we go. And basically, didn't need to do much there, and got some, got some prestige and. Naval tradition, eh, army tradition rather. I want to. No, get back to Nav Narva. There we go. I want to be the one. Oh! Detach a siege and go there. I want to be the one who grabs these areas. That's a siege and oh no, that's a that's all together. I don't think it was. Um, okay, did someone steal my guy again? Fucking Burgundy, he's mine, you scumbags. So let's do that and send you up to Vyborg, so we're not taking unnecessary attrition. Ah, beautiful. So, with any luck, if we siege these quick enough, we'll be able to, uh, let's just send everyone over there apart from you, because you've got the guy, and he does have siege, doesn't he? Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't even have siege. There's no point. Just come up here. Why are you not... Oh, you are. You are now. I was going to say, why are you not properly blockading? But they are now. So, so hopefully we can drop these two sieges before uh, before Denmark peace out and we might actually get the, the land. Should be lovely. 
Although, if Denmark's got to keep going to war with them, we really need to fabricate claims, because that would make more sense. Because I think we're more likely to get Denmark to, uh, Cardinal's no longer loyal to us. We're more likely to get Denmark to give us it if we, uh, if we have claims on it. Come on, 31%, 35%. You know what, you guys, come over here. These guys are being idiots. There we go. Hey, ships are cheaper. We've won the Siege of Nevada. So you guys can fuck off. And we won the Siege of Revel as well. Fantastic. No, I don't need to go to Loveland. Just keep going. Wow, you're fighting the Livonian rebels. That was not intelligent, Poland. Uh, lose money or lose goods in Finland. Oh well. Sorry, Finland. Sucks to be you. Ah, they only make uh, they only make grain. It's only like that for a little while. <coughs> Denmark's opinions are improved. Yay. They accepted peace. Uh, they will cede also to Denmark. Livonian order will pay 44 ducats. Alright, okay, well done. Fucking Denmark, you pricks. Um, I want to fabricate a claim on Revel, thank you very much, because I want it. And if I don't, then Denmark will probably just fucking take it like the pricks that they are. Yeah. You fabricate a claim on that place. I want these two. Fucking Denmark. Bunch of arseholes. There we go. We'll just uh, send you guys back into Stockholm. Just don't really need you to do anything. A oh, very inland fleet that we've got there. No heavies whatsoever, which is horrid. It's uh, Norway. It looks like Norway's just ticked up the military. Ah, there we go, we get extra trade efficiency and trade range. Should give us some extra money there. Um, and we're just hoping to, to fill out this. To get ourselves a production efficiency up. Which will be awesome. Yeah, we get seven of a month instead of six. That's pretty cool, and we're still making nine gold. That's ridiculous. So much more money than, uh, than Scotland was getting. I just got to stuff a load of points in them. Hopefully we'll get voted in. There we go. So, how's everything going here? Denmark have still got a decent number of men. Which is a shame. Can't so dissent or anything. Oh, we've been discovered. What a shame. Wait, in Loveland? Is that what it says? Hopefully I'm not. I mean, they're threatened by me, so normally I would just, like, try to vassalise them and then peacefully annex them. But I can't do that because I'm in a personal fucking union. Scotland has cancelled the rights. Alright. That's fine. Just knock yourself out, Scotland. We've gained the conquest gas's belly against the Livonian order, but we can't use it. I just got to fabricate claims on all their shit. So that we're more likely getting a peace deal. Actually, I'm going to shove you guys up here. Oh, no, 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 wrong guys. Actually, no, you can go up there as well. As well as my actual men. There we are. We can build shit, but I still want to focus on my tech. At least get the production efficiency. I mean, that stops after level 6 and then it's not until level 9 and then we'll build constables everywhere hmm. I'm still I'm still thinking about what idea to get I want quantity because of this uh, land force limits modifier is ridiculously strong um, no point in me getting expansion or exploration could get trade ideas but I kind of fancy economic as well we'll see I wouldn't be putting anything into it just yet anyway. 
But we definitely do need to get ideas. But, uh, it's best not to mess around with ideas until you're hitting the, uh, the ahead of time penalties. Uh, Alright, I'm going to call this an episode here, guys, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Remember to leave a like, comment, favourite, subscribe. If you've watched this far, then you must have enjoyed the episode. So thanks a lot, and bye-bye.